Hey, it's Mike with Narcoleptic Customs, episode six today with the LS swap into Stanley. Going to work on putting the slip yoke in. We're going to work on a few things with the wiring, and we're going to throw some RTV on the oil pan. Okay, so for today's episode, we're working on putting the 2005 5.3 and 4L80 getting it ready to go into Stanley, which we're gonna to do tomorrow night. We're actually gonna throw it in and I'll build a transmission cross member on the next episode. But Stanley is the 66 GMC truck that I've had since I was 14, which is about 22 years. And my grandfather actually purchased it in 1967 uh, with 9,000 miles on it and drove it for about 25 years. So I've had it a long time. He had it a long time. Um, it is named after him in the sense that it is rusty, it's mean. He wasn't mean, but he was rough. And it just is ready to go anytime you're ready to go. Um, it had a 283 and 700R4 in it. We pulled that out to go with a more modern setup, obviously fuel injection, something I can drive every day that'll have air conditioning, power brakes, power steering, all that kind of stuff. So the goal for today is to get the slip yoke mounted. To do that, I've got a RTV the bolt that goes in the back. Uh, I'm going to RTV it to keep oil from coming out. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to work on some wiring, make sure I get the connectors good and um, set on their, on their spots there in the harness. Uh, we've got to work on the transmission plug wiring because when you swap from a 4L60, which was what was in the Tahoe, to a 4L80, you've got to add an extra vehicle speed sensor, but you've also got to rewire some of the connector that goes into the 4L80. So it sends the right information to the computer. And again, uh, Todd and Blake at LSX Harness did our, uh, they did our reprogram of the computer. So it runs with the 5.3 and the 4L80 setup. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the wiring. And that's probably about all the time I have for today. Um, we've only got about three and a half hours. So, so we better get started. All right, so real quick, I grabbed, so this is the factory bolt that holds the, uh, fixed yoke on. I grabbed that one, same threads. I'm gonna cut it down to the same length. I'm gonna cut it down, or actually a little shorter than what that one is, so it fills the gap and screws all the way in. I'm gonna RTV the crap out of it, and then uh, we should be good to go for a slip yoke. All right. So, made a mark on this one based on the, what I feel like is the right spot. It may not be but we're doing it this way anyways. Now I'll take the, the wheel here, clean up the edges of that once it cools off, and we'll jam that thing in there. Okay. Gonna throw some sealer around the end. just to get a good bead on that. And I'm gonna work my way out here. Okay. I've already got some Loctite on the bolt. Get that out of my hand. I want to put some more. All around this. Trying to make as solid of a seal as possible. And we're going to tighten this thing down. Should be good enough. All right, so it's on. Again, the Tahoe shaft. Runs right on there. Cool. Okay, so 
Got the pan down. If you remember on the other episodes, I already had it mounted. I just threw it up real quick. Forgot to do this step. So. So always check your steps. <laughs> Make sure you're doing your stuff once. Not twice. Because you don't want to have to try to do this under the truck with the engine in. So, ugh. Now we'll put it back together. One thing that's nice about the Chevrolet pans is that the gaskets on there tight enough to where you can, like, most of the bolts stay in, so. Get a couple to get started here. That way it'll at least hold it up. All right, so I want to say thanks to Todd at LSX Harness for walking me through what I need to do to wire in the additional vehicle speed sensor for the 4L80 coming from a 4L60, which is what this truck was. Um, he also walked me through the plug diagram on the plug-in that plugs into the trans, so that way it works as well. So very easy, it's about three or four wires. I, I pulled two wires from here and I'm adding two to the connector so should be very simple based on what he told me and he made it very easy walking me through all the connections here so i didn't do a whole lot of video of that because i'm kind of short on time so i'll do a quick recap and then i gotta go all right so we got a lot done today got the um, rtv for the oil pan done uh, so it doesn't leak got the drive shaft or the uh, output yoke RTV'd and closed up. That way we don't have a leak in the back. We found out that the Tahoe drive shaft uh, that I've kept for too long, but uh, luckily I did. So it'll actually slide in there and it'll be my new slip yoke. Um, we did the plug, the transmission plug wiring, got that complete. So now it is ready. It is a full standalone system. Um, I tightened the transmission bolts, transmission pan bolts, and um, I guess that's about it for Stanley today. So our next episode will come probably Saturday, Friday night. We're having some people come over and uh, we're going to throw this motor and trans in. And then I'll start building the transmission cross member and things like that. So to keep up with what's going on in the shop, subscribe to the channel. And also follow us on Facebook at Narcoleptic Customs. Follow the link in the description. Hit that like button. Thank you.